Hello and welcome. I am Raghav, and today we are going to do something very interesting. In the last session, we have seen how can we put our web driver IO project on a remote cloud repository. We have used GitHub, and we can use any repository, whether it is Bitbucket, GitHub, or any repository on the internet on the cloud. And then in the early one of the earlier sessions, we have also seen how can we use Jenkins to run our web driver io project and test however that time we were using our local project but now in this session we will see how we can use jenkins to first clone our project from the github repository and then using the same project same repository we will run our test this is going to be very easy very interesting and this is actually how we do in uh, actual projects in organizations. So now we are coming very, very close and we are actually doing the actual CI CD part that we do in our projects. So let's get started. And the prerequisites are our project should already be on a repository like GitHub. And we have completed this in the earlier session. And the second thing is our Jenkins should be up and running. And this is also we have seen earlier. So step number one is we will go to our Jenkins and create a job. So I will go on my Jenkins. My Jenkins is already running here. I will click on new item and create a job. I will say web driver IO project git. You can give any name and click on freestyle project and say, okay. And now here I will directly go to the source code management section here and here we have the option for git now just in case you do not find this option that means that you do not have the git plugin added to jenkins and to get the plugin you can just go to your dashboard of jenkins and from there we can go to manage jenkins and here we will have a option to manage plugins from here you can go to the available section and search for git and you will get a git plugin check it and say install without restart let me show you the plugin which is installed for my jenkins if i search for git you can see this is the git plugin that we need okay so and similarly if you're using any other uh, source code management tool svn etc you can just get the plugin and you will have that option come here under the source code management section so i will click on git and here we have to give the repository URL. So this is step number two. We will uh, get the repository URL from our GitHub. So let me go to my GitHub account. And here I will just search for the project we uploaded in the last session, which is this one, WebDriver IO. And this is my project. So you can. Uh, take the url from this address bar or you can click here and copy this url and give it here in the repository url now the next thing is we have to add the credentials so in case you have not added the credentials already to your jenkins you can click on this add button and it will take us to the credentials manager page or you can also do, go from there, go to that page from dashboard and go to manage Jenkins. And here you will see our option manage credentials. And here we can again go to this Jenkins and then we can add the credentials from here. So I can go here and I will get an option to add the credentials. So I can go from here. The third option is I can also go to my user drop down here and then go to the credentials page. So all this will take us to the same page. So let me do it directly from the job. I will click on add and click on Jenkins. And here domain, we will keep as it is kind. We have username with password, GitHub app, SSH, et cetera. As of now, we will just use a username and username with password and scope. We have a global scope and we have a system scope where it is accessible only to Jenkins and nodes. And I'll just keep it global for now. And here we have to give the username for our GitHub account. So you can add your username here. I'm adding my username. And then we have to add a password. Now, 
the password of our github account will not work here some time ago uh, github has changed this that you cannot directly use a password in third party app your github password for that you will have to create a token so for that go to your github account and from the top right you can click on your user icon here and from here go to settings and here scroll down and you will find developer settings go here and here we have a option for personal access tokens click here and uh, we have two options to we get to create tokens we can use the classic way or there is a new way which is in beta which is fine grained tokens so let me try this one you can use any one and here i will click on generate new token and here you can give any name i will say for jenkins job and we can set the expiry as well you can select from here or set a custom expiry i will just say seven days description is optional and then here we can provide all the access that we want to give to this particular token so it says public repository is read only now our repository is uh, public so i'll just keep it as it is and then we have more permissions here account permissions we have so many things here uh, so we can select what our permissions we want but because our project our repository uh, in my case it is already public and this is what we did in the last session we made it public so i think this should work i will just click on generate token and this has created a token for us now you can copy this token from here and also keep it handy with you because once you go up from this page go away from this page you will not be able to see it again so you can copy it and keep it somewhere handy and i will just copy and paste it in my password box of jenkins credentials here and then we have a id box now you can keep it uh, blank and then save and it will generate some unique id itself but just in case you want to use some meaningful names you can give some id here i can say uh, credential for github you can give any name here there should be no spaces and description is again optional i will just say add and it is added and now if i go to this credentials drop down i will see that my credentials are added you can see two here because one of the credentials was already there so i can use this one and then we have the branch that we want to use from our repository so let it be master because if i see here uh, if let me go again to my repository on github so we have a master branch here so let it be as it is and then that's it i will just apply and save for now i will add the uh, commands to run the test later let us first check if it is able to clone our project from github and one other important thing is to see where it will get cloned you can check from your if you go to your jenkins dashboard and go to manage jenkins and go to configure system here you will see your jenkins home directory so in my case it is t my jenkins in your case it may be a different directory so whatever it is you can uh, your job folder will be created here and within that job folder our project will be cloned we can also change the location i will tell you how to do that and uh, i have uh, changed the default home directory and just in case you want to know how i have did, done that you can watch my jenkins video but that is not required whatever it is here that is fine okay and now we have done step number 2 and now i will just first run and check if it is able to clone our project so i will click on build now and you can see it has started the run i will click on the status bar progress bar and i can see this and looks like everything is done it says it is finished and here i can also check the location where my repository has gone so i'll just copy this location it is d my jenkins workspace so all my project folders all the job folders goes here i will just go and check here so here i can see all job folders and my job folder is let me see here
okay it is web driver io project git and yes it has cloned all the project from the repository and if you see here we do not have the node modules and the result folders and that is because uh, in the last session when we were uploading our project to github we had created a dot git ignore file and there we have added all these folders so all these folders are script they have not gone to the uh, repository but i will tell you how you can get these how you can run a command and get all or uh, get the node modules and the result folder report folders will anyways get generated when we run our test so here let us go back to our project and one more important thing is if you want to change the location of the folder where your repository will get cloned you can go to the general section and here click on advanced and here i will say use custom workspace and let's say i want to get the project on my desktop so i will just create a folder here i will say wdio project or you can give any name here and copy the location and this is what i will give here in the use custom workspace and this will be the directory so now this is our job folder all our repository will get cloned here and when we will go to the build section and run our commands all the commands will run on this particular folder let us just apply and save and let me run and check if this works i will click on build now and let me go and check my folder and you can see all the project all the repository has now come here okay so this is working fine so we are able to do step number two now step number three is we will go to the build section and we will add these commands. Now we already know this command npxwdio is used to run our tests, which is fine, but we are also using this command npm install. And this is because when we run this command npm install in any node project, this command reads our package.json file of the project. And then all the dependencies which are mentioned here, it will download and set up all these libraries and dependencies under a node modules folder and that is the reason why we did not include the node modules folder uh, while uploading we added the node modules folder in our dot kit ignore because that will be very bulky and this is the advantage of having a node project you can take your node project anywhere we just have to run the command npm install and it will do all the setup of the project all the libraries will be added downloaded and set up the only thing we need is Wherever you are running this uh, project, this command, they should be Node.js should all, already be present on that system. So wherever we are running this Jenkins, as of now we are running on our local system, but in real world, it will be on some servers or some Linux machine. So the only thing is they should be Node.js installed and set up on that machine. So I will now go to my configure section of the project of the job, go to the build section, and here I will say add build step. If you are on Mac or Linux, you can select execute shell. For Windows, we will select execute Windows batch command. And now I will say npm install and npx wdio. So let's check. I will say apply and save. And I will say build now. So this will be the third build of this job and I will click on this progress bar that will take me to the console output and you can see it is now running npm install and now it will get all the npm or node libraries. You can also check in your project folder. So you can see the node modules folder is created and it is now getting all the modules as per the package.json dependency section. So let's wait. It will take some time for the first time, but uh, after that, it will be very fast and it is already done. You can see it is already done. And if I see it has added all the node modules and all the packages, but it has not executed the command to run our test. That is WDIO, NPX WDIO. So let me go back to the configuration page of the job build section. Uh, so let me just uh, remove it from here and I will create a new build step. I will add one more execute windows batch command build step and add it here separately. And I will say apply and save. 
and now let me run it i will click on build now and i will check the console output so you can see eh, this is very fast this time but yeah npx wdio is running for the first time on this folder so it may take some time but from the next run it will be very fast so let's see if it is able to run our tests and uh, open the browser and run the tests so it has started the chrome driver yes you can see it has started and it is running our all the tests yes it is running everything and yes everything is fine and the status of the job is failed because one of the test case has failed so which is fine and now after this if you want to uh, implement JUnit reports that we can do we have already seen that in the Jenkins uh, section in the in the Jenkins video so you can do that and now you can uh, see we are doing the actual CI CD process that we do in any organization and now we have our complete job setup and we are not dependent on our local system our project our uh, repository is there on github and we are using Jenkins to get the repository so wherever uh, you are running Jenkins from you do not have to run it from your local system wherever it is you can have your Jenkins running on any remote server any Linux server any remote machine you just need to have npm or node installed in that machine and you will take your project from your repository github bitbucket or any repository it will do the setup it will clone the repository then you will run npm install it will do all the setup of the project all the libraries and then it will run all your tests and uh, this is what we do in actual ci cd process in any organization and now we can also chain our jobs so let's say there can be another job which is created by the dev team or the it team and that job uh, deploys our application to the next environment based on the result of our test job so if our test job is successful it will trigger the next job and it will do the deployment on the next environment i have discussed all this and shown all this how do we change jobs in our in my jenkins session so just in case you want you can check that i have a jenkins master class also so you can check that i will put the links in the description of this video and if you have any questions you can let me know in the comment section i will see your question and reply to you and if there is anything you want to discuss with me you can let me know in the comment section i hope this was very useful i will see you soon thank you for watching and never stop learning